Hey guys, welcome to Technic Club. Hey guys, welcome to Techno Globe. My name is Eben Wilkins. And my name is Maurice John. And in this episode today, we're going to just recap about what we did in 2017. And we're also going to talk about the state of technology in St. Vincent. Yeah, so but before that, um, we kind of have this new platform that we're on. And we have to give some context as to why we are here. There's <laughs> a different background. Yep. The, the, the mic might sound a little better for those <laughs> who have been tuned in to us on Facebook. So we kind of looking like an upgrade. So what's what's going on? Why why do we look so good in, I believe, 4K? <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, well, put it simple. We now with VC3 TV. And we must say thank you to VC3 TV for picking us up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, so we kind of upgrade from the standard we are alone in a, in a room recording yeah. videos. Um, so this is a, a golden opportunity for us to, um, you know, fast track our vision for what we have for Technoblog. Um, so what exactly is Technoblog? All right, so Technoblog started 11 months ago. Yes. In January 11th, I think that was the date. Mm -hmm. Our first video went up. Mm -hmm. um, it's Technoblob is a show the way we talk about tech and its influence in St. Vincent and around the world. Alright, so a bit of a backstory. Um, when I was in university, uh, me and a colleague, Janica John, we started a tech blog called The Daily Geek. Um, that tech blog was an outlet for us to really discuss um, different topics in technology. Um, in our UE days, we, will, we could have been found all across the U campus arguing some point about technology. So one of our friends casually suggested, yo, you two need to just start a blog and discuss your ideas. So we did, we took the initiative, we started off on um, Google's platform, Google had a free blogging platform, and then when we look at the numbers that we were doing, we say, yo, we need to take this a bit more seriously. We invested in um, hosting, and we've got a team and we started on, you know, building a WordPress um, backed platform where we could express our views. And that that was a really good experience. Um, we grew to over 100,000 page views and we were getting serious traffic all across the Caribbean and outside of the Caribbean. So with that as a backdrop, we kind of you know, was always involved in technology in some, some way, shape or form in terms of sharing our views. And we when we when we really look at stuff in technology, we go on YouTube, we read on, on these blogs and we think to ourselves, these opinions are just like what we are saying. And we wanted to put St. Vincent in a place, put the Caribbean perspective in a place where we could share our opinions because our opinions, we believe that our opinions were just as valuable as these international entities. And the beauty of the internet is we are all on the same level playing field. $15 for a domain, 10 US a month for hosting. It does not cost anything to get on the internet. So we took that initiative and started. With Technoblob, unfortunately, Daily Geek went down because we kind of went our separate way. Janica is overseas pursuing her dreams i'm still here i'm doing different things <laughs> make so, it like a bad thing <laughs> well it's not a bad thing you know, but uh, you know yeah. sometimes you know we, we you go different paths um so we kind of veered in different directions so i i am always i always love technology i always love technology so when the idea came to do techno blob you know I figured the best person to reach out to is Eben because Eben and Janica actually had a, a talk about, you know, starting something with, with, with video content. So I say, Eben is here, I'm here, let's do some video um, documentary of what um, the technology space is. So that is kind of the back, 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 back story. Yeah. So, uh -huh. we're here. 
Definitely. Yeah. All right. So what has happened during the year for Technoblog? What what kind of topics we touched on? Um, during the year so far, we talked about some apps, local mm -hmm. apps mm -hmm. such as the Lotto app, Tap. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and we also introduced some developers as well. Mm -hmm. Those guys from Real, Jamal and Malo, big ups to you guys. Mm -hmm. um, they're recently going to be launching their PaySwift, which mm -hmm. is a non bank um, payment system. Yes. Yeah, yes. which is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, and we also had Anthony George and was yes. it Link Up? Yes, Link yeah, Up. Link Up one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. We had a really good year. The mm -hmm. year, um, one of our main objectives is to try to put Vincentian developers on the map. Anything that is being done in technology, we need to say, okay, how best can we shine a light on these developers? So we had a good year interviewing people. Um, one of the one of the standouts for me is um, when we did the video with Tap, and we 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 did that interview with Young Senior Science. And we put some links just to see how well we can do in promoting promoting tap and that those links got over 200 t clicks I'm like yo we have a voice that people not only you know watch our videos but they actually interact with our content so we wanted to push that even further and we had a meetup yeah we had a tech meetup at chill spot uh, how did that go it went, it went surprisingly well. We had over like 12, 12 um, persons coming. Yes. Yeah, we had members of LinkUp. Um, we had um, Kenry Kwashi, which was right. a startup, startup uh, incubator kind of business. Yeah, we also had the winners of the NTRC's I Square competition. Right, with the yeah. open category. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it was. And we had a designer, mm -hmm. and we had a, a. He does it coding, and who else did come? Uh, we had one more person, Kenny. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kenny, who does development. So we had a really good vibe and a good night where we um we discussed topics. We discussed um you know how things are going to progress in Saint Vincent and how we could be a part of it. Yeah. We even started a WhatsApp group, Better SVG, to really have a place where we could have discussions where that will grow, and we could have discussion, have monthly meetups. So that we could see how we can, you know, find some synergies to better St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yeah. I want us to take some time to really evaluate where St. Vincent is right now in the, in the space of technology. Um, and, the, and the development side of it, uh, which is my particular interest because, you know, I do websites and mobile applications. What have you seen during your time with Technoblob when it comes to development in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Software development in, that, in particular. Well, <laughs> since Vincent is at a state where it doesn't really know where to go, mm -hmm. if it's to go forward or to stay where it is. We mm -hmm. see a glimpse of technology in St. Vincent from young developers who's trying to push, mm -hmm. you know, the technology forward. But then there is the halt there. Mm -hmm. It's not going any further than that. Mm -hmm. so, so that's an area of issue where I see, you know, we have the, the technology is there in St. Vincent to be used. Mm -hmm. but the platform to push it forward is just not there. This is where Technoblob comes in, in terms of the technology space in St. Vincent. You are seeing young people venturing off into trying to realize their, their, their dreams and goals and saying, okay, I want to get something done, I have a brilliant idea, and I want to invest my time or money into getting this idea done. Um, but then we we see the execution yeah. because the execution is there. We've seen multiple examples of people who have gone and get their app done. Mm -hmm. But then we have that that space where now that is the unknown space. Yeah. How is it going to be successful? When I go and I say I'm going to invest my time in building a mobile application, are Vincentians going to actually support my mobile application? And it has to start within that space within that space where we have that beautiful, beautiful, um, you know, appreciation for the things that we have done. So, for example, let's say the, the, the idea for TAP. We've seen TAP is a beautiful, beautiful mobile application. What has to happen now in St. Vincent for that to be successful? What do you think? <laughs> well, for, for 
apps like Tap and similar other apps to be successful in St. Vincent, mm -hmm. you gotta have the support from the businesses. The local businesses need to help push these apps. Um, we also saw in the NTRC competition the high school group, Cameron, I think it was Max or something like that. Mm -hmm. They have as well an app um, for flow, a floral app for one of these floral companies in St. Vincent. Right. Right. They need the support of the businesses to help push the app development. Um, the developers alone cannot do it by themselves. Um, and so with apps such as the Floranium app and TAP, mm -hmm. and I guess there's numerous other apps similar to these, the businesses need to come on board and push these apps. Okay, so we're Once that is happening, mm -hmm. then we have the consumer using these apps. All right, so we've seen ad, 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 ad another mm -hmm. introduction into the idea of how do the, these things push forward. We see the responsibility of businesses also. So for us, we established that, okay, if, if, if intentions are going to move forward in the technology space, if you're going to move forward in software development, people in St. Vincent need to say, okay, when I get my new phone, I go and I download WhatsApp, I download Instagram, I download uh, all of these social media apps that are outside of St. Vincent. We download all of these applications that, you know, companies overseas are developing. But am I going to stop and say, this person who lives down, down Georgetown or down Leyu develop a mobile application. I am going to take that responsibility to install a mobile application. Even though it's not the best, but I will install it and message that person and say, okay, yo, I've been using this application and you need to do X, Y, Z to make it better. You need to now introduce something into that mobile application that will keep me coming back. That is, I feel, the responsibility of our Vincentian body to rally around our local developers so that we can have that feeling of, of want you know in, inside our own country when that happens then we could start thinking okay maybe the Caribbean because St. Vincent accepts it because St. Vincent loves it the Caribbean will want it and then you have that confidence to push it out you could approach investors to really push it out and get it in the Caribbean another point that you tap, you touched on was businesses um, I had a meeting with, with Sinus um, sometime last week and he is starting up a new business. I'm certain that he'll come on the program and talk about it. A new business, when I challenged him in the video to do an Amazon, be an Amazon for the Caribbean, he took it very seriously. He went and developed a product and he's now approaching businesses to come on board to market local products. That is a huge initiative. And the point that you made about the, um, businesses coming on board, we need to have that. Yeah. And when I say business coming on board, I don't mean just promote the app. Mm. I mean to actually have someone in the, in the business using the back end of the app properly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. We, we don't mean let's just use the app and just have it sit there. You know, we mean have some dedicated staff to be using the technology that the developer has put forward. Exactly. So if, if, if somebody comes to you and say, hey, we have a platform, and I'm using Sinos here, we have a platform where your business can benefit because we have instituted a way for you to do online payments. We instituted a way for people who are custom, because St. Vincent, Vincent Chans, we when you go to customs, the amount of Amazon packages that come into St. Vincent every single week on a Mary Jet, we know that Vincent Chan already custom to go in, put in their debit card and their credit card into Amazon and purchasing products. If that mindset is already there, there's not a breakthrough that we have to have to teach people how to do these things. If somebody comes along and says, hey, we have done the research, we have approached um, businesses to do the, and handle the, 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 the third party payments, come on board. It is onus is on us to take up that responsibility and say, hey, I'm going to jump fully, fully into this and let's get this successful. And it's, it's only good business practice to capitalize on, on, on opportunities like that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, one thing I want to talk about, NTRC. <laughs> Another thing I want to talk about, NTRC. What do you think about the NTRC's initiative, uh, I-squared? The I-squared the competition, I think it's a really good competition um, to get developers and students into developing. 
because mm -hmm. they have a broad area. They have areas where they teach um, students to develop. They have like developers camps and courses and so forth. Then they have these competitions for um, outside of school and those in schools. Mm -hmm. But my issue is what happens after these competition? Mm -hmm. Where does the apps that uh, the ideas that come about? Mm -hmm. Where do they go? Do they go anywhere further than that? That's the big question for me right now. Okay. But I I must applaud the NTRC. The NTRC is doing something as much as the, the, the where do it go after. We touched on it before that we must have that confidence that people will take up these mobile applications and run with them. But one thing I must say with the NTRC, you're sparking the want to is very important. Mm -hmm. That want to in the Vincentian mindset is very important. We are transitioning in St. Vincent from being a country where children are being told, okay, if you want to be successful, I must be a lawyer, I must be a doctor or engineer. We are making that quick transition into realizing that there are other professions out there that can sustain you as an a, um, as a, um, a entity. So if is it that we are giving people now um, a, another option outside of these established um, um, safe professions or if you want to be rich professions if it is that um, technology which is the leading generation of wealth in, 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 in the world if technology is now one of um, those engines let us let us now jump on it and um, get with that and I believe that the NTRC is doing very 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 well when it comes to inspiring young people and also old people to get into application development and i, I must applaud the efforts i have been a part of of, of that i squared for a couple of years now being at the judge level and also mentoring when it now started i mentored the grammar school a grammar school group and they actually won um being a part of it and seeing 12 year olds a 12 year old um some 12 a group of 12 year olds they actually said, I went to a summer school program to teach me how to build mobile applications so that they could come and be a part of the NTRC competition and build their prototype. That in itself is a very, 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 very powerful example of what motivation can do. If at a young age a seed is planted in the minds of young people that they can actually be in that technology space, then we must say it is a great, 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 great thing. All right? So that is my take on the NGRC. Yes, there needs to be the second part, and we touched on it before with, 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 with the business community and the intention to get the apps in people's hands. But I must commend the NGRC for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So Whew. that was a mouthful. <laughs> Huge mouthful. <laughs> All right. So... Going forward, mm -hmm. um, we must again thank uh, VC3 TV for this opportunity to come on their platform. Yeah. Um, VC3 can be found on YouTube. Um, you can find the station on, um, on TV, on cable, channel 114. Yes. And also, if you want to email, you have VC3203. Um, at vincisoft.com um, so of course you can also find them on on facebook um, vc3 um, so you could email find it on youtube find it on facebook find it on tv mm -hmm. and of course you can find us on our regular spot on technoblog for those who have been following us on yeah. technoblog but just in case you haven't been you can find us on youtube facebook and yeah that's, that's it that's about it <laughs> <laughs> youtube and facebook just yeah. look up um techno blog yeah so this mm -hmm. journey we're starting this awesome journey yeah um so what do you what do, what are we you know giving a little preview as to what we have you know in mind to do just a quick what is the most exciting thing that we have to do in two seconds <laughs> what is the most exciting thing that we have planned to do uh the, well for me it's just interviewing these uh reviewing these local apps mm -hmm. seeing the progress of where they're going and just promoting them. All right, so the most exciting thing for me is what we're planning to do in 2018. We want to um, establish 
um, a greater tie with, with St. Vincent in terms of, you know, going on um, doing our meetups every month so that we could build our community. We want to do startup weekends where we pitch ideas over a weekend, get people together and see if we could form into businesses. Um, and of course, like you said, the interviews with people and promoting people to get them as much exposure as we can possibly get them so that they can be successful. Yeah. So that looks like an episode. That's an episode. All right. Thanks so again for watching us, guys. My name is Ibe Wilkins. And I'm Maurice John. This is Technoblog. Thank you. <laughs>